amigos, ¿qué tal? Stuart here from Spain Speaks with another walk around video today in the north of Spain in the autonomous community of Galicia. We're going to have a walk around uh, a medium sized town here called Betanzo. So uh, let's go. I'll turn the camera around. So here we are in the northwest of Spain in Galicia, the autonomous community of Galicia. And this is the town of Betanzos. I'll turn the camera around so you can get a look at what's going on here in the street. And it's a, a decent sized town, around 12,000 people, I think. Not far away from the bigger city, A Coruña, also close to Ferrol, and not far away from Santiago de Compostela. Saturday morning, out and about, and we'll take a look at what goes on in this town as we look at some of the main sites. Not many people out and about, it's still quite early. As you guys know, here in Spain, people don't normally come out until mid-morning, 10, 11 a.m. when people get out and about and start doing their shopping and things like that, buy their lottery tickets like that bloke over there, buy their bread and buy what they need for the day. So let's continue down here. Now this is a, uh, a hilly city. The city goes up and down to the river. And we can get a look at the type of architecture in this town here, which is interesting to say the least. Up there we have the typical houses that you'll see in this part of Galicia. Now I'm gonna cross over here, if I can. Some people having breakfast there. We might see some pilgrims. I'm not sure if this is on one of the ways to Santiago de Compostela, not sure. But here we can see here one of the main buildings in this town. Not sure what it's called, but we'll get a good look of this building here and we'll see if we can find out what it is called. This is the main square. I think it's where all the taxis are. So we'll just cross over here. They're doing some works over here. Not sure exactly what's going on. Parada de taxis. See if we can find out what this building's called. It could be, it could be the town hall. I'm not sure. Spanish flag up there. Consejo, yeah it is. Disculpe, señor. Es el ayuntamiento este edificio. Oficinas del ayuntamiento. Oficinas. El ayuntamiento está allá arriba. Ah, es este. Donde está el parque de la música que sube así para arriba y en la plaza. Oh, no está por aquí por la plaza. No está por por la plaza. Está aquí cerquita. Ah, vale. Muchas gracias. Okay, let's continue. It's not the town hall building, but uh, offices that belong to the town hall. And there's a statue. Not sure what the statue is. Let's uh, go and check it out. We've got a motorcycle concentration over here. Obviously lots of people riding their motorcycles. Riding their motorcycles out and about today, Saturday. Let's have a look at what we've got going on here. Los Hermanos García Neveira on the anniversary of the death of Don Juan. Not sure what's going on here, but we can see here that this is a, a statue dedicated to this person here. García Hermanos, as I said. Not sure who it is, but anyway. Now, let's have a look at the motorcycle concentration. There's a pilgrim over there. There's pilgrims around this part of Galicia, as I said interesting building there looks like some type of church and here's this motorcycle concentration where the bikies are out and about on a Saturday morning let's have a look over here little protection. protection protection civil here so that's interesting it's obviously an organized event and we've got another statue here let's see what this statue is Betanzos 1866 let's see if we can get some history here there we go, an interesting statue here in Betanzos. And I look around the square, which I think is the main square here in the city of Betanzos, Galicia. So, we're going to find some more emblematic buildings. Saturday cyclists out and about, very popular activity in Spain is cycling. And no doubt in this part of Spain also with these hilly streets hilly roads these guys working their way up there and again the typical architecture in this part of Spain you've got these sort of uh, closed balconies where people uh, take advantage of the winter sun because this is a part of Spain where it can be a bit wet in the winter months 
and whenever the sun shines, you've got to take advantage of this. But luckily, today, Saturday, I think it's the 4th of October, not sure. It is a fantastic sunny day in this part of Spain. Sorry, the 7th of October. I'm a few days out. So that's what I was talking about, that the city goes down and it goes up according to the uh, valleys and the rivers. Let's keep on going. Let's have a look around. All right, let's continue our journey. There we have some pilgrims up there. Now I'm going to try and find the town hall building, which I think is up here somewhere. It's a very clean city. The buildings look to be well kept. You get an idea of the type of businesses that we've got going on here too. Supermarket over there. Some renovation works I think being done to that building. So let's continue up the hill and find the town hall building, which I think is this one up ahead. People doing their chores, bread delivery. So at this time of the day, delivering things to businesses. Bars not open yet. Now, there must be a police station around here somewhere because we've got three cop cars there. Yeah, this, this is the town hall building here, I think. And you can get an idea of the architecture that we got going on here. Very interesting. And look at the architecture of this building here. Typical Galician architecture. And this one here, wow, fantastic. And on a day like today where the weather's good, I really enjoy a walk around this town. Okay, so this is a church, and this is, I think, Casa do Concelo, right next to this church here, which obviously goes back a long time, I would say. Up on top there, all of the, the, the rust that has set in, because this is a, a place in Spain where it is close to the Atlantic Ocean. Um, everything is exposed to the elements, and rust is an issue. And the town hall building here, also a magnificent building. And again, those closed balconies where people take advantage of the sun. Ah, oh, place up there for sale. Let's have a look at this one. Yeah, I'm sure that would cost a pretty penny in this part of Betanzos. And there's another example of how the all roads go either up or they go down. We'll go down there in a minute, we'll find the river. Let's have a look here. Plaza or Praza a Constitución. Remember here in Galicia, they've got their own language. We can see here in the three languages, we've got Gallego, Castellano in the middle, and English there on the right. So renovated in 1778, and based on a facade project by the architect Ventura Rodriguez, the town hall was established in the Acropolis of the town, the highest area of the Castro of the Untia, the oldest square in the Castro. Vestiges of the 16th century are found in the inside, specifically two busts and three polychrome coats of arms corresponding to the town, to the Kingdom of Galicia, and to the Imperial Coat of Arms of Charles I of Spain and Both Germany. Its balconies were, over the centuries, privilege witnesses of the most relevant episodes in the history of our country. So some interesting history there. This building here. Let's go back and take another look at it. There we go. So we've got 1219 to 2019, some type of a celebration, uh, O Año de Betanzos. So there we go, magnificent. And what I will say is that Galicia and all of these towns and cities in Galicia, uh, it's one of my favorite parts of Spain. You can't go wrong in this part of the country when it comes to food, drink, and everything to see, amazing. All right, we'll start walking down. Let's have a good shop here. Some type of gift shop, I imagine. Some V-dub combis there. Some sardines, which are typical in this part of Spain also. Interesting. The youth. Another building here with a, some type of coat of arms. And if you had to walk up this hill every day, I reckon you'd be in shape. So let's keep going down. Cars pop out of nowhere here. You've got to be very, very careful. I reckon this is the Casco Antigua, but I'm not sure. You know, I think it is. 
because down here we have a, a very very old building let's go and check it out now I don't know what a lot of these buildings are but, but when I edit this video I'll put the names of all of these places so you guys can get an idea where we are now we've got the municipal market Peixerias, Canesarias, Freiterias in the Casco Antiguo let's have a look so what have we got going on here so Consello de Betanzo, so Consello, Reserva da Biosfera. So this is obviously a protected area. Let's have a look here. A building that's seen better days. Let's just keep going down here and see what this church is. Church bells ringing. 10 a.m. I think. Rua da Pescaderia. So the Fishmonger's Street. Wow, this city is impressive, I will say. So, here we go. Cruzeiro, Santa Maria. Let's have a look again in the three languages. Okay, so we've got Federico García Lorca, who was a famous poet, killed during the Spanish Civil War. From Granada originally. Didn't get to live a full life because of his beliefs, I think, back in the day. And we can see here that... Uh, some type of dedication to him. Igreja de Santa Maria de Osogi. So there we go, that's what this church is here. But, but these buildings are a real standout. Look at this plaza over here, this terraced area where you come and have a beer or a glass of the local wine. Amazing. These views. Quality of life here. Second to none. And look at the architecture. Wow. So we can see here what it's called. Iglesia Parroquial de Santa Maria de Azogue. There we go. So again, a magnificent piece of architecture that's probably been here for hundreds and hundreds of years where the faithful come to pray. Let's have a look down here. So basically everywhere you go in this town, there's an interesting little street or corner or laneway that you can work your way down. You can see here there's an albergue, some type of hostel down there. Sorry if the sun's a bit in the camera. Sorry if there's a bit of camera glare. Not much I can do about it. Let's just have a look here. Again, we can see those green hills and an impressive building here. Let's keep on going. Another look at this church and its bell tower, two old bells up there, which uh, ring out, I imagine, on a daily basis. But don't quote me on that. And there's the uh, local market. We might go for a walk through there. We'll go and see if it's open. Now, I've just been told that the market is closed. It's being uh, renovated, so we can't go there. But we'll work our way down to the river. And apparently, from what a gentleman just told me, I didn't record the conversation, but he told me there are, that there are some interesting things down here. And a lot of these streets have been done up in recent years as well. The uh, local council spending money to uh, do this part of the town up and get these streets looking good. There's a side door there to the church. Also with some interesting characters up there above the door. So here we go. Let's go down these stairs here which, as I just said, have been renovated in this whole area here. I imagine because of tourism purposes, a lot of these houses are being done up. You can see here down this street, there's two houses being done up. There's a bakery down here as well. You can see that they're doing renovation works or rebuilding these old houses. There's a, a dog poo there, so be careful where you walk in these towns. Sometimes dogs are let loose and they do their business, so you've got to be careful. Let's have a look at this. We can see here, and here's what's going on here. So, plan de obras y servicios, and uh, what they're spending to do up this part of the town. Let's go down this street here, it looks interesting. There's some type of arch down here, but as I said, the way that these streets have been kept, wonderful. Some more renovation works going on there I think or 
plastic trying to keep the rain out because this can be a very wet part of Spain. In fact, we are very lucky today to have sun the 7th of October because normally it would be raining in this part of the country. That's why everything's so green. So, here's the archway, some more tourist information. And here, more renovation works going on. And also up here as well. So, a lot of money being spent to do these places up. What do we got here? Porta do Cristo. So I imagine that is Christ's door. And uh, this is it. Why is it called Christ's door? The Christ gate, sorry, also known as the Rebeira gate, receives its name from an ancient carved wood figure of a crucified Christ. Close to this gate, there was a number of crenellated turrets. One of them still supports a private house. So there we go. And there's a picture back in the day. And uh, this is what it looks like now. Yeah, interesting. Let's keep going. We're working our way down to the river. This is where the traffic goes by. And again, those balconies there that have been closed and quite good. Now here we've got some interesting artwork. Not sure what it is. Let's go. I'll just turn the camera around and get another look at this archway from the other side. Oh, there we go. Very noisy. Okay, so this area here has also been done up so that people can enjoy a walk along the side of the river. Some boats. I think you could probably go on a cruise up this river, I would say. These boats look to be tourist orientated. There's a bridge over here. Let's go down and check out the bridge. See what's going on with this bridge. If there's any historical value to it, I imagine there is because it looks pretty old. Obviously back in the day people needed to cross these rivers and these bridges were real works of art and they've lived and they've stood the test of time. The architecture here. Wow, this house is nearly falling down. The humidity gets in there, affects the wood, and they slowly crumble. That's why some of the ones that we saw before are, are being done up. Now this river looks fairly dirty. Not the cleanest river I've seen, I'll tell you that. Let's go and have a look at this bridge. What's the bridge called? Let's have a look. So there's the name of the river, the Rio Mandeo. And the bridge, which is called the Puente Viejo, we've got a, a pilgrim there making his way either to or from Santiago de Compostela. Let's go over here and get a bit of history. What have we got here? Antolin Farrado Azore. It's obviously a, a renowned person from this town. One of the parents of the Galician regionalist movement from the 19th century. There we go. And this is where we are, in Galicia, northwest Spain. And some of the things that we have seen, the churches and other buildings of interest. So let's go back down this way. The Mandeo River. Rio Mandeo. So a fairly quiet town, not very busy this time of the day, this time of the year. And definitely glad that we came here and checked this little town out. 12,000 people, Betantos in Galicia. Got another bridge up here, which is a newer bridge by the look of it. And we can see that these boats probably haven't been used for a long, long time. I don't know, but uh, they have seen better days, especially that red one there. Newer boat over there with a nice mariner outboard on the back. Takes me back to my boating days in Australia. Honda outboard on that one. Probably around 100 horsepower, don't know. And the Suzuki on this one. Let's have a look at the horsepower. 50, Suzuki 50 horsepower. So that'll get you around fairly swiftly, I would say. So, walking along the river, See if we can find anything interesting. Got some canoeists over there. Keeping fit, which is good. Taking advantage of this weather, which as I said, is not usual 
Now, one thing I like about Galicia also is that everywhere you go, you see the signs for that beer over there, Estrella Galicia, which is, as we know, one of the better beers in this, in this country. And we've got some of the locals out there enjoying their Saturday morning. Bedanthos. And this is quite a pleasant stroll along this river. Definitely. Another boat down there that's seen better days. <laughs> Washed up there on the rocks. Plastic. Unfortunately. And a nice waterway which adds a nice touch to this town. I will say, and very peaceful down here. And we also need to keep in mind that this is a part of Spain where the seafood is a very high quality, the fish dishes are a very high quality, and it all comes out of these waterways, and of course the ocean, which is not far away from here. So if you're in this part of Spain, seafood is a definite must. Okay, now we've got to get up the hill. Once you go down, you've got to get back up. And this is the hardest part. No one here at all in this street. So we'll see if we can get up to the top of this hill through the old part of town. But when you get to the top and you've got views like this one here, it's well worth it. The local political branch of the Partido Popular, of course, with Mr. Feijo, who is from this part of Spain, Galicia. Not sure if he's from Betantos, but uh, Galicia, he is from a Gallego, Mr. Núñez Feijo. But as we know, he wasn't successful in his bid to become Spain's next prime minister and uh, unfortunate for him. So I've made it up the hill, back here in the main square, town hall building behind me, church over here, and I'm going to wrap this walking tour of Bithantos up. Questions and comments, please leave them in the section below. If you've liked this tour, please let me know in that comment section. Give the video a thumbs up if you liked it also, thumbs down if you didn't. I'll see you in the next one. Hasta luego from Bithantos, Galicia, Spain.